my reality check timeout. Uh oh. During which I promise not to raise my voice. Okay. Um, what I keep seeing is Windows 10 people saying that Windows 10 is more secure. Yeah. Which is utter nonsense. What I, what I, the, and the distinction I need to draw for like, again, the reality check is that added security features is completely different from security. And, and in fact, you can argue strongly that added security features decrease the security of the system until they are proven. I, I will never forget Steve Ballmer prancing around on stage before the release of Windows XP claiming that it was the most secure operating system ever. And we said at the time, you can't say that. That's not something that you that anyone can declare. It XP had more features. In fact, it was the first Windows operating system with a firewall. Unfortunately, they would forgot to turn it on. So it wasn't until Service Pack 2 that it was turned on. So the point is, I don't argue that Windows 10 has more security features, but that's completely separate from it being more secure. And in fact, all, every lesson that we are taught by feedback from reality is that new code has bugs. And the more new code you have, the more bugs you have. And it takes time to find them and remove them. And Leo, you were talking, I think it was on Saturday, uh, you, were you were mentioning uh, Debian's stable track and how there, there's been some controversy over some guy that wants to change the screensaver on yeah, the JWZ. Debian. Yeah, Yeah. And, and they're saying, no, you know, don't mess with it. And I was just sort of smiling because it's like, yes, that is the correct philosophy if you want stability. If you want a stable system, if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's actually and, but, really but, a good point. That's the gray beards attitude in uh, Debian is if you use Debian stable, you're going to be using old software right? because it's and, proven. And we'll do patches, but well, we're not going to be upgrading it to the latest stuff all the time. You know, I only moved GRC servers off of Windows 2000 a couple years ago because that Windows 2000 didn't understand any of the new SSL TLS protocols. So I had to. But that thing sat there and ran literally years at a time, just like a bulletproof Unix box that just sits in a closet and you you forget about it because it, it never has a problem. I mean, that's what you want if you want stability. Now, I get it. And in fact, Paul's term, Windows enthusiast, is the perfect one. Because again, I don't have anything against Windows 10. As everybody knows, I use Windows. I love Windows. But I also understand that new is not necessarily better. And that's the other thing, is that this is not, Windows 10 is not a new operating system. That's another myth that Microsoft pushes and has always pushed because they want to get people to upgrade. Until Windows 10, it was revenue generating for them. Now they're gonna arrange to generate their revenue somehow else. But how do we know it's not new? It's because when a defect is found, it affects all previous versions of Windows. Think about it. We always see that. Every, every problem that is found affects every previous version. Well, if it was a new operating system, there would be a disconnection between the problems. There is no disconnection between the, the vulnerabilities, because it's all the same single piece of code. The other way you know is if you drill down a few levels in the UI, you find dialogues that haven't changed in 20 years, because the code's fine, they haven't screwed it up, and they've left it alone. So what we, what we have basically is NT with about nine layers 
of different sugar coating UI wrapped around it. They keep changing the way it looks. Oh, let's go 32-bit colors. Oh, let's have shadows. Now let's do 3D. Oh, we don't like that anymore. Now let's make it flat. They're changing the surface, but it is all this, a single old operating system. And I'm happy that it's old because new code just has problems. So the point is we know it's the same old operating system because every problem we talk about affects all the versions all the way back until they stopped supporting them. So you know, it's, it's monolithic. It looks different, then it's not different. So anyway, I just I wanted to make a couple of those little points. And that is that security features is not, does not mean more secure. It actually means less secure at least initially. And it's not a new operating system. It's the same old operating system because all the problems are shared with, you know, Windows XP and, and, and 7 and as, you know, as far back as it goes. And we'll be talking about a few of those today because, again, same operating system, different coding on, on the top.